Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, May 7th, and today's title is A Loving Knowledge. But before we begin, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love, your mercy, your grace that you give us every day. We thank you for just being awesome and showing yourself to us. We pray that we continue to learn more about you today. In your name we pray. Many have seen a Return to Eden theme song in the Song of Solomon. Though the couple described is not the first man and woman, the poem calls to the mind of the earliest garden. God's plan that they may be one flesh is portrayed throughout in a delicate metaphors and symbols. Solomon invites her, come with me. His bride responds later, she invites him, let my beloved come into the garden. He responds, Scripture here teaches there is to be no force or manipulation in this intimate setting. Into this free relationship, both partners are freely and lovingly entered. My garden is his garden. Solomon and Shulamith share names that are derivatives of Hebrew shalom, peace or wholeness. Their admiration is mutual. The balance in their relationship is evident even in the poetic style of the paired lines and verses. The covenant expression, my beloved is mine and I am his, echoes the language of Eden. This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. The Bible uses no for the intimate union of husband and wife. In this loving knowledge, the most hidden inner depths of their beings are offered to the other. Not only two bodies are also two hearts are joined in one flesh. No also describes a relationship between indi individuals and God. For the discerning Christian, the unique and tender knowledge of marriage and its companionship, commitment, and unbounded delight provides a profound insight in the most sublime and holy mysteries ever, the union of Christ and the church. Well, that concludes our lesson today. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow.